Etricurium is an intermediate acting benzyl's aquinoline muscle relaxant group. Next we'll see about his metabolism Atricurium has a unique called as, Hoffman degradation. Hoffman degradation, non-enzymatic time-bound self-destruction of drug. Out for every half an hour rearrangement happens in Atricurium molecules and it's metabolized. It has a unique method of degradation. The majority of the drug undergoes spontaneous degradation in plasma called Hoffman degradation. A small amount is metabolized by plasma esterase. Hoffman degradation is a pH and temperature dependent reaction, higher pH and temperature favor more degradation. Since it is metabolized by Hoffman's degradation, it doesn't need the liver and kidney for its metabolism. So, this muscle relaxant is a choice for By Hoffman's degradation, it produces a byproduct called laudnacine. This laudnacine can cause epilepsy. Accumulation of laudnacine can cause epilepsy. Systemic effect. As it is a benzyl's aquinoline compound it can release histamine which can produce allergic reactions ranging from pruritic rash to a bronchospasm, or hypotension. It releases histamine which can cause hypotension, bronchospasm, tachycardia. So, it is cardiovascular system unstable. Effects at higher doses, its metabolic product laudnacine can cross the blood-brain barrier and can produce convulsions. Due to its more disadvantages, Cisatricurium is used. Okay, friends, that's all about today if you want a video about Cisatricurium comment below the video. If you like this video please click the like button. These likes can motivate me to do more videos. Also, subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.